So when the RSP executes tasks, it sends the results of those tasks through what we call channels. So you're going to need to configure how those tasks come to you. The first of those channels we're going to configure is the email channel. So I go into the RSP console, log in with my admin username and password. Now I can click on configuration and then I choose channels. And then I go across here and I choose my email channel. I tick the checkbox to activate this particular channel. So now I want to put in the, the address of my SMTP server. I want to specify if I'm using secure SMTP or just standard SMTP. I can also put in usernames and passwords if I'm using authentication on my SMTP server. I then specify the email address that I want this email to come from. So when I'm looking in my inbox, this is the email address that it's going to come from. So, you know, I might put the, your customer name and the server name at the customer domain, but you've got total flexibility over what you do put there. The next thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to specify who are the email recipients who are going to receive uh, these results when the task is executed. And I put that down here in the email recipients area. I can add multiple recipients, I just need to separate them with a semicolon. I can specify the maximum attachment size to cope uh, with different restrictions and limitations from my email server. I then choose test connection, it will run a test. I save that, my configuration is saved and that's my email channel now configured and ready to go.